Hi everybody, hope you are all well. So today, um, for the first time, I'm going to go through full prep of my own nails. Just I haven't obviously shown, you know, how I do um, prep my nails and apply my nail tips. Um, and I had a few people that had asked me to do, obviously, how I apply my nail tips and etc. So I'm just going to do that for you today. So I'm going in with my cuticle pusher and I'm just pushing my cuticles back. Um, not too harsh, you know, just obviously push them a little bit away so obviously you can get to that dead skin around there. And then I'm going in with my e-file just on my cuticle cleaning um, tool bit and just going gently around that cuticle area just making sure that all of that skin is off the nail plate or that will cause lifting. And trust us guys, you really do need to prep the natural nails. It means so much for lifting. So after I've done that, I'm just going to go in with um, a light file and just take um you, you know you don't need to file an awful lot you just need to take that natural sheen off the natural nail just so obviously everything can adhere to that nail so once that is done i'm going to go in with some um this is a cleanser and dehydrator by the edge and i just squirt that onto a lint free pad and just get all of that dust and oils or anything nasty that is on the nails to make sure that the nail beds are thoroughly clean so I'm I'm just going in with some nail glue and I am popping the tips on. So when applying the tips, if you just tilt them forward a little bit and then back on their cells and that will push all of the air out of obviously the tips so you have no air bubbles um, when obviously you're applying them. So I, I just pop them all on to five of my fingers i had to think there what they were um and then obviously i'm going to chop them down to my preferred length um so i think i have shown them chopping them down but what i like to use i like to use a spare set of um cuticle nippers and obviously because i'm going for like an almondy type shape nail today i use them to snip away like the sides of the nails and then obviously with a normal file i can just file them into shape so that's how i shape my nails um so as you can see here you just snip them down to your preferred length it's really really easy um so once all that is done i'm going in with my neos dehydrator which this is a fantastic dehydrator um i've i only apply one course some people like to apply two but i've always been fine with one so just pop that onto all of the nails and once that is dried which it dries very very quickly i'm going to go in with a primer and prime all of the nails so once all that's done, then you're ready for your application. So this glitter that I am using today is from eBay and the seller is called Diamond Glitters and this colour is called Dew Drops and it is a beautiful spring type colour. It has some lemons in there um, and some pastel blues and pinks and it's just a really like holographic, beautiful mix and it has lots of different shapes in it, some butterflies and hexes and so on. So as I say, just a little bit wetter than normal guys with your um, glitters and they will glide on much easier. So this is the first time that I have tried a baby bloomer type effect nails um, and I am so happy with the result. It turned out beautiful. Um, so I'm going in with Neo's Pure White and I'm just popping that onto the free edge and then blending that up towards obviously near the cuticle area and the nail bed cover that I am using is also by Neo and I've just received it and it's called Dusty Rose Nude Nails. This is beautiful colour. It is like like a movie type pink. It is stunning. Um, 
it just worked so well it glided on beautiful i'm just i'm, I'm in love with these nails guys they are beautiful um, and I really hope that you love them as much as I do. So, as I say, you know, you don't need a lot of these um, colours, you know, because they are highly pigmented. So, as I say, just blend up. If you feel you need a little bit more, you can pop that on. And then, as I say, go in with um, the colour bed that, you know, you require. Um, but, as I say, this is just a stunning, stunning colour. I absolutely love it. And then just blend that over to the white um, and you get that beautiful like ombre effect. Um, I didn't realise it was so easy to do. I'm, I'm, as you can tell guys, I'm blowing my own trumpet here. Yeah, but they did turn out absolutely beautiful. So um, I've just speeded this up a little bit for you guys. So you can just see obviously I've explained exactly what I did do. Um so as i say once all of that is done i'm going to go in and fully encapsulate all of them nails um which i'm still using nsi i absolutely love nsi products um i think it's i've tried numerous ones and i think it is what one of the better ones out there so but everybody has their own preference on what they like um so as i say i'm just using their liquid and their powder and i'm still using my alpha number 10 brush which i am still in love with um so as i say just make sure that you have a good covering on your nails making sure that you fully encapsulate that glitter because obviously when we start filing we don't want to destroy that beautiful glitter so when all dry i'm going to go in and do some filing um so obviously your side walls free edge make sure all neat and tidy i like to go over with my e-file um i'm still using the ceramic um yeah drill bit on um, a medium carbide is it carb medium ceramic yeah anyways so this is called angel paper um it is i've seen loads of people using it lately and it's gorgeous so it just comes very thin and you just cut it to whatever shapes and sizes you want so what i'm doing just on my index finger i'm using some gel top coat and um, popping that onto the finger don't cure it and just with a pair of tweezers just stick them whichever way you want um i'm just doing them in random type strips um and you can easily chop it if it's a little bit too long which i did and it's gorgeous and i think you can get these in different colors as well so on the middle finger i'm just going in with some crystals which i will leave a link in the description box on where i buy these because it's a lady that um sells them for dance costumes but they were perfect for nails so i'm just doing a random design and these are skorsky crystals as well but they're like the pearl ones they're really really pretty um and then i'm just going in with my gel top coat so um i really hope that you enjoyed these nails as much as i did i think they're just simply stunning and when i put them on my facebook page everybody loved them um i actually had a lady come on straight away and she was like oh my god are you free on friday i want my nails looking like this so it's always a good thing when your clients come on like that so anyways guys i've left some pictures at the end for you and um, please give it a thumbs up if you did like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and once again thanks for watching and all your support guys and i will see you in my next video so bye